Hi everyone, John Davenport here from fullgaropathy.com with another Let's Edit video. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, something a little different. You know, normally in my Let's Edit videos I kind of, you know, edit a photo from start to finish for you uh, using mainly the basic tab here on the right hand side and then, you know, some of the other uh, various tabs, which uh, some of which I've gone into detail on and some of which I haven't even touched on. Um, don't worry, we'll get to all of that stuff throughout this uh, series. I have uh, kind of a schedule plan ideas going on here. Uh, but today I'm going to transition a little bit and we're going to actually go over here to the left hand side of Lightroom and we're going to look at the presets panel. Uh, presets are kind of cool. Um, as you probably can tell from my videos, uh, I really don't use them that often. but. Uh, that's not to say that they aren't good or that you shouldn't use them. Uh, it's just that my personal style of editing is more of a, you know, touch and feel kind of edit. So I, I like to use the sliders and kind of quote unquote feel my edits uh, when I do them. Um, whereas here in the preset panel, usually you only get um, kind of a click and your edit's done. It moves, you know, six or seven different sliders sometimes just to create the final image. So how do these work? Uh, basically, you know, they're, they're different little things here and you can, um, as you mouse over them, you'll notice that the preview over here on the left changes. And when you click on one, your image will change. Uh, you know, different ones do different things. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come down to Lightroom Color Presets and I'm gonna click on Old Polar. And you can see that, you know, does kind of a cool little color image here. Uh, but then you can also go and you can add stuff on top of this. So you can go to a vignette and add a vignette effect. You can add some grain if you want to do kind of an old tiny grain photo. Uh, and then we'll go in here to the general presets and I'll add a little bit of punch in there. Um, and maybe I'll sharpen it a little for scenic. So you can see that these um, presets are all additive they stack on top of one another so that first preset that I picked that uh, color polar is actually still there now um, just because you edit with the presets doesn't mean that you have to ignore all the stuff over here on the right hand side you can come over here and um, you can drop the highlights a little more to bring that um, sky back in you can um, you know play around with the exposure a little bit, uh, bring some shadow detail back, uh, maybe bring the uh, blacks up a little bit, and maybe add a little little bit of contrast just to give it a little more punch. Um, you know, add, a, add or subtract a little saturation depending on how you want, to, want it to look. We'll add just a little bit of vibrance here. And you can see, basically you go through and you, you do the edit as you want. Now, you can say you don't want that, uh, that grain, you can come down here and you can see uh, because I added that heavy grain, the grain slider has been moved up to 92. I don't want the grain anymore, I can just come in and remove it and you can see it's a very smooth photo now. So, you know, the, the good thing is, is that this is uh, non-destructive edits just like anything else in Lightroom. All of these things are removable and you can um, go through and uh, edit them as you please. But say I really like this final edit, you know, I had a couple other things that I changed. I dropped the highlights a little more, I changed the exposure, I added a little contrast. Um, so I really like this particular edit. You can also actually save these uh, presets as your own and basically anything you create in Lightroom can be saved. You, if you come over here to your preset, there's a little plus button here. If you click on that, a dialog box will uh, pop up and it'll be, uh, you know, a new preset. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call this just test uh, for this purpose. And you can see it would go into whichever folder you want. You can create a new folder and I'll call this again test just to, for the sake of this video. And then you can see here anything that you check will uh, be brought over into this preset. Anything that you uncheck will actually not be brought over into the preset so uh, you know say you had a graduated filter in this preset and you didn't want to apply it to everything it's just for this image specifically 
you could uncheck this and that way everything but the graduated filter would be brought over um, into this preset. So then when you're all done you just click create and then you click replace if it's already named there or you rename it as something else. But you can see here in my user preset because uh, apparently I didn't actually select the test uh, thing here so I didn't go in there. So in my user presets uh, thing here you can see test is uh, right here and this preset will um, obviously not do anything for the photo here that you see but if I go back and I reset this photo and then I click on test you can see we're right back to where we started uh, minus this little clone that I had done uh, previously so I'll just clone that out again and there we go so I hope you learned something from this I don't know if uh, if you're a fan of presets or not um, there are plenty of free ones out there if you want to get your hands on some you can um, you know easily upload them into your user presets folder and then they'll be available to you um, to use you can create your own and of course you can just get started by using what Lightroom has to offer. So if you did like this video, please click the like button below. And if this is your first time watching me on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.